Welcome everyone to Comic Shop Talk. We are here today to do something that probably should have been episode one, comic intake. So we're gonna go through um, our diamond order and our lunar order. I still buy all my Marvel comics through diamond. So we'll, they'll be in the Marvel boxes. So we're gonna go through all of that. First thing you have to do is find diamonds packing uh, list. Um, and you don't know which box it's gonna be. It's always, they sometimes put a, a sticker on it that says uh, packing slip. Uh, inside and that doesn't always mean it's true so what do we have in this first box oh they sent an entire box for this one book uh, an entire box that I paid shipping for yay you can tell by how light this is this is gonna be probably toys I'm gonna look under all this stuff for the shipping label Oh, we got a bunch of pops. Let's see. It's got to be a comic. All right. Nightmare Before Christmas books that I reordered. So we'll put that down. The funny thing is, is rarely is the packing slip with the comics unless you're just getting comics. Usually it is in between one of these. What do we have here? Come on, packing. Ah, oh, there, that's what we're looking for. So that allows us to check in all these books. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it is cool. It is, uh, it is a box full of pops and toys. Awesome. This is all the last Ronin stuff, the PX and the Blue Beetle. Very cool. We'll check that in. So this should be the comics. Oh, you can tell by the weight. End of the month, so this should also have the preview guides in it. And uh, did we get another? Yeah, no, I think this is the last one of the month. So there'll be preview guides, some Pokemon books. Yeah, Game and Trades, and the preview, previews guide. And the Game and Trades, that's awesome. And this will be the regular comics. For my shop, everybody knows, small market. I only get one box of books, unless there's some kind of big thing happening, like free comic book day or comic fest. Like when King Spawn came out, I bought 250 issues to get the, the one side by Todd. We rarely, rarely do that, but since my nephew was writing the book, I figured, you know, why not go for it? So what we do is we, I take these out and I go through the list. I'm not gonna bore you with going through the list, every single book. Uh, every book is listed. I usually rip the pages apart. By the way, this is how I do it. If you own a comic shop and you have a really great efficient way of doing this, you know, send me a note in the comments that you, you know, you made a video of it already or how you do it, how you do it different. Um, but this is how, this is how I do it. So the, the one, the price sheet, I, I get rid of that. We save that. Uh, the rest of the stuff, is all ready to go. I go and match the book to this, make sure that I have it. If I don't have it, I put an M next to it and circle the number of how many I'm missing. If it's damaged, I put a D next to it and I circle the number of, uh, of that. And we go through each book. Then once all of it is um, gone through, we'll move it over to the rack we keep new books on. We'll put them, put them out for tomorrow. Um, and we then go to the computer and print out the, and we're gonna show you that process of printing out the pick list from Pullbox. And then we also, people who aren't part of Pullbox, we take all the, uh, we keep the sheets on what everybody gets. And we'll show you that here in a minute. Um, yeah, I, I don't love my system, but I'm kind of attached to it in where I, I don't really know what change I could make to make it better. So, this is the most efficient way that I've been doing it. Uh, we, you know, get it done in about, if I don't have any interruptions, I get it done in about an hour, uh, putting the books out and pulling all of our subscribers. And then uh, let's go over to Lunar. Lunar's really easy. I mean, that's one of the, you know, that's one of the things that you know, one of the big pros to like everybody loving Lunar is they're really hot on the packing. 
I think it's a little bit overkill. People say, well, I don't, I get zero damages. You still sometimes get a damage where the person packing it wasn't very careful and they flipped, they flipped a corner or something like that. You don't get any shipping damages this way. That's, you know, what people are talking about. And you get a lot of boxes. So if you're doing eBay and shipping stuff, yeah, you make a big mess when you're doing this too. But so pretty easy. As soon as you open it up, the box, you have um, your packing slip. Looks like we got a super secret preview from uh, Rick and Morty Manga. I'm sure you'll see these on eBay today from other shops. Um, I give uh, my subscribers a shot at it and then I, I put it out for um, regular customers. And then if nobody buys it by Saturday, uh, then I might put it up on eBay. We have uh, magazine size they also put up on top. The great thing I'd have to say about Lunar that I like better than this overpacking is that everything is alphabetical. So when you open the box, left side starts A, it goes down, and then the next letter, uh, once all those books, and then the next side starts the middle of the thing and goes to the, to, to the end. So they're really easy to check where, you know, the diamond box, I don't know how they pack it. They definitely don't pack it alphabetically. Um, so you're constantly going back and forth on the sheet, looking, looking for it, looking for it, which is very inefficient. It takes more time. Uh, and I talk, this is like the fourth time I've said inefficient and efficiency. I'm, I'm big on being efficient. Uh, I'm not very efficient. That's probably why I talk about it so much because it's the one thing I think I could do a lot better in is being efficient. When you're efficient, you, you do things more quickly. Everybody knows time is money money is time so if I was more efficient I could make more money I could save more money I won't bore you with checking through all the books the next thing we'll do is the process of uh, putting the books out and pulling the books real quick I just want to show you from my shop this is my independence this is both Marvel and DC get it together Marvel DC so what we do is go through our list pick each comic it's pretty easy to alphabetize Marvel and DC so pulling that is good pulling independence is kind of painful I could re-alphabetize it it's just easier to do it not alphabetized it also keeps people hunting and pecking but we pull it pull the comics and get them ready to go into subscribers boxes all right so now we're gonna do uh, missings and damages I had uh, a couple of missing and I had a few damages. So basically we just, um, I like to get it alphabetized. It just, that's the way the sheet is for whatever reason. That's not how the, the screen is, but you're able to do it by anything you want. The shortages and damages. And so our first damage is new burn. So that's gonna be down here. Oh, okay, that's not there. Another thing you can do is start typing the title up here, makes it easier. Well, that's weird, it's showing that we didn't receive any. It's not the right week. This is the right week. There we go. And then let's do all. So how easily you can make a mistake when you are getting ready to film. Here it is, New Burn, number nine. Uh, both of mine were damaged. They were heavily scuffed. Probably came from the printing company um, that way. So instead of putting under uh, damage from center, I'm gonna put it for damage from printing. Uh, do I need an emergency replacement? No, you can put yes. Usually if it's two books, they're not gonna send you an emergency anyway. Uh, back order allowed, yes. And credit only, no. And then we'll go down to silk is the next one. Silk number three, one of them was damaged and it looked like when they were putting it into the box they caught one of the corners. Storm. Supposed to get three, I only got two. So that's over here under shortage. One. And then the last one is the X-Men. One single damaged. Then you scroll all the way down to the bottom where it has submit. O O S D just submit it boom shows you what was sent to them for shortages and damages and you're and you're done with that 
Then let's go over to pull box because I want to print uh, our pick list. So you see pick list over here. Just go to pick list. You have to pick the date. It's always the one date earlier. That's why I made the mistake in the shortages and damages. 725 is actually next week's invoice. Uh, so 718 this week's invoice. Um, now I can show you this right here. This just has the books and how many um, that are ordered by my customers. Um, but we're going to uh, blur out all the names of my customers on the next page. Uh, so we do a download customer pick list. Uh, you can do it in different ways. You can do a download item pick list and then uh, it'll show you just uh, the items that need to be picked and it has the names of the people who get it. Um, and this way you can just go Amazing Spider-Man, I need two, right? And actually one person gets two, so I need three pulled for that and then one, 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 one. And you can see out of the amount of uh, books that I order, I really did, there's not that many that are for customers. So we just hit the print button, makes it real easy, prints it out and I can carry it over, pull the books really quick. Uh, now the other part, <laughs> back to the efficiency problem. Um, so we keep the comics in a filing cabinet and we put, some people don't order all their books through pull box. Some people will get just one issue, like they're interested in a first appearance or something like that. And that just gets either typed on or written on a sheet of paper that's in front of their, of their box, of their pull box. And um, then we pull each one of those. Uh, that's over here. So we pull each person's list out of their box. We have them numbered. We're using right now, well, we've always used a file cabinet. It's not the best. Uh, if people have better suggestions, um, if your suggestion is to have something built, um, yeah, I know. But then it's measurements and placements and stuff like that, more difficult. Um, so that's what we do here. And next, check us out pulling the books. So that's the pulling. What we do next, we make sure that all the books are in perfect condition. Then we bag and board them. Then we put them in each customer's box and they can come pick them up. We kind of don't have a time. Like some people keep credit cards and after three weeks they charge it. We don't do any of that. Uh, it, have we been burnt in the past? Yes. Will we probably be burnt in the future? Yes. <laughs> but that's just the way you know, I like to do my business. Uh, if you do it differently, let us know if you have a better way of doing it. In New York, it's not really, I mean, it is a subscription, so you should have to pay in advance, but you know, comic shop's kind of different. Um, sometimes people just run into things and they can't pick up for two, three, four weeks. Usually once it gets over a month, we, we kind of have to put the stuff out and stop pulling. Uh, just because the cost, you know, we're trying to always keep costs down. So that's uh, comic shop talk for today. Uh, it's how to how we take in take our comics and toys from Diamond and Lunar, and how we put them out, and then how we take care of our subscribers. Uh, if you're interested in any of my hot takes on uh, comics, the comics industry, comic book writers, comic book artists, you can catch a lot of that stuff over on my channel. Uh, Haven for Heroes. We'd love to see you over there. We're pretty getting pretty close to 500, which now is uh, monet we could monetize, and we would love that. So, and we'd love to have you over there and be part of the conversation in uh, in the state of comics. All right. So, keep reading comics. Open a comic shop.